Hi everyone, Jackie here from the Bird Show team at Tracy Aviary. And you know, we may be closed right now, but our Bird Show stars are still getting out and about. I'm hanging out here today with Inca. Inca is our adorable little red-billed toucan. Now, toucans are native to the Neotropics, so you find them mostly in the rainforest canopy of places like Central America and South America. And right now, Inca's just hanging out. I think she's enjoying the sunshine. But the cool thing about toucans is check out Inca's eyes up close and personal, and you'll notice she's got that beautiful blue color around those eyes. Now that, believe it or not, is the color of a red-billed toucan's skin. Various species of toucans have different color skin. Now, red-billed toucans like Inca may have skin that's that electric blue color, but if you see behind me, we're visiting with our toco toucans as well, and you can see they have a very different color skin around their eyes. And of course, that skin color does extend under all their feathers as well, which I always thought was pretty cool. Now, there are eight species of true toucans found in the Americas, and toco toucans like the ones behind us are certainly the largest. But toucans can be split into two groups based on the vocalizations they make. So red-billed toucans like Inca here are barkers. And right now, thank you guys, the toco toucans are showing off their croaker vocalization, which I think sounds a bit like a croaking frog. And when Inca here really does get going, her vocalizations are much louder, almost like a yelping puppy. So for all those toucans out there, they're either croakers or barkers. And the toucans do have some smaller relatives as well, the toucanets and arasaris, which you can also see some of those species here at Tracy Aviary. But of course, we couldn't be visiting with the toucans today without acknowledging that incredible beak that makes them one of those easily recognizable birds. Now, toucans' beak can take up a third of their body length. So it's a pretty impressive, impressive beak there. And it's also a pretty incredible structure, uh, speaking of uh, evolution. So their beaks are mostly made of keratin, and the keratin layer inside their beak is almost like a sponge-like structure, and it does have some bo bony supports as well. So their beaks are very, very strong, but also extraordinarily light. So considering this beak can take up, up to a third of a toucan's body length, it can only be 1 20th of their body weight. Now, how cool is that? So you're probably wondering, what would be the purpose for such a large beak that Inca here is showing off on our Togo toucans as well? Well, that beak has several different functions for these beautiful birds, one of which is thermoregulation. And so there's some pretty cool studies going on right now with thermal cameras. And what they're discovering is this beak is a pretty, pretty handy built-in air conditioner or heater. So when toucans do get hot, they can actually increase the blood flow into their beak to help cool them off. And when they get cold, they can dilate the vessels in their beak to help keep them nice and warm. And these studies have found that over the course of a few minutes, their beaks can change 18 degrees, which really is cool. But of course, that beak isn't just a built-in air conditioner and heater. It also helps them find their favorite meal. And you're probably thinking, well, popular culture and a certain cereal brand would tell us the toucans like to eat fruit. Not just the case. Of course, they'll eat lots of fruits. Oh, thank you there, Inca. There's that barking noise responding to our toco toucans. <laughs> Pretty deafening, huh? But you know, toucans like Inca's certainly do eat fruit, but they're also omnivorous, so they're going to eat eggs and nestlings of other birds as well. And so that's pretty surprising to a lot of people. And I'll just let Inca hang out here for a second while I try to speak over.
done, little lady. A little toucan chorus line for you guys. It perfectly demonstrating that Barker and Croker fact I was telling you earlier. But as I was mentioning with Inca here, these birds are omnivorous. And so that beak actually helps to extend their reach when they're way up high in the rainforest canopy. So they do spend a lot of time hopping around in the treetops. And of course, they're sticking to the nice sturdy branches. And then that beak allows them to reach up and just pluck berries and fruit. Inka, why don't you show us how that works? Well done there, my friend. And so here at the aviary, we do have another species that's lives are interwoven with toucans. And I'm talking about our oropendulas. Oropendulas are another tropical rainforest bird that builds hanging nests. And so believe it or not, toucans like Inca here, <laughs> toucans like, are you <laughs> certainly got a lot to say today. But toucans like Inca here, believe it or not, will raid the nests of oropendulas for their eggs and chicks. So you could imagine, the toucans with the much larger beaks are able to reach into the nest and get those foods so they're able to be more successful and the oropendulas that build longer and deeper nests their chicks have a higher rate of survival so pretty cool example of evolution in action out there in the rainforest of south america but we'll let inca and our little toco toucans just enjoy their time together their time in the spotlight and hopefully you Loved meeting them up close and personal, certainly one for the record books today. But on behalf of Tracy Avery, hopefully we see all of you folks soon.